guys, it's Karen, and it's late night pouring, like quarter to two in the morning on a Saturday night. My husband's out of town for the weekend, so I can talk out loud and everything. I'm gonna use the hair dryer and everything. I'm all excited. Um, these colors are by request, so I'm gonna do two, hopefully quick, little eight by eights. Let me get you down. All right, excuse the mess in my container. Um, is that a hair? And a hair on the hair. Well, I don't know what you were. Um, I posted a picture on my Instagram and on my Waterfall Acrylics Facebook page where I used pink as a cell activator and it turned out pretty great. So I'm going to do it again. I have some colors I'm killing off. Um, I think this might be autumn leaf. I'm just throwing this at the bottom just to use it up. I don't think it's gonna do anything. Colors, brands, recipe, pouring medium, all that comes up at the end of the video. Uh, so check it out there. This is, what color is this? I have some Utrecht though, aquamarine. I'm gonna make sure I Leave enough to do both paintings. And then I have some golden crinacridone violet. And then we're gonna to top that off with my pink cell activator, which is Amsterdam. What is this? Permanent red violet light. That's the color I'm using with my Australian Floetrol, four to one ratio. Save some of that for the second one. And let's blow this out. Did you guys see how I did like a little freeze um, when I got like to an edge and then it made like these uh, lighter colors. It's like my new favorite thing to do. Sometimes, not always. Um, my other phone isn't working. So unfortunately, if I do puff right there, you guys are going to have to put up with my head and I'm just going to watch it for a couple seconds. Let me dork around, do my favorite thing, which is to throw colors on the sides. Somebody asked me why I didn't use a straw to do the puffing in the middle. And mostly it's because I don't get the same kind of control as I do when I use my mouth. Um, and I find that, you know, I can adjust my mouth to be wide or narrow, and I can't really do that with a straw. So that's why. That's a personal preference. Plenty of people do it with, you know, great success. That's uh, pretty amazing looking so far, right? So maybe I will, just since it's just that one spot right there in the middle. Yeah, a couple little blue speckles, that's about it. I just don't find it, um, I just don't think it works as well for me. Uh, that's pretty awesome just the way it is. I love these little areas. I think I'm gonna lose them. But, uh, click. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh my goodness gracious. We stop. We stop right there. How greedy do you want me to be? 
I take off that little thing right there. No, because I like all those different colors. Ta-da! That one, uh, let me do this. So you can see it, I'll get you guys down for a close-up. Uh, after I do the second one, I'm a little low on one of the colors and I don't feel like making more pouring medium at this hour. So we'll see how this goes. But there's the first one and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, back for number two. I'm out of the autumn leaf, the color art color. There's just not enough in the cup to uh, make a puddle. And I had like an ounce of pouring medium left. So I'm using my Cronacridone Nickel Azo Gold. We'll put that down first in lieu of the autumn leaf. My cups are all dirty. Well, I don't know what I'm gonna do if I uh, screw this up because I'm just about out of everything. Oh yeah, please work out because, well, if I fail or screw this up, then you only get one. <laughs> I'm, I'm out of stuff. Including the pink cell activator. So this is kind of do or die. Let me dig it all out. No sense saving a couple drops. All right, looks like a crazy color combo, right? I screwed it up too bad. Oh my gosh, look at that. I should do these colors and try uh, try the dustpan technique with it. I'm just throwing paint on the corners just to have it spin off. Look how pretty that, um, a pretty shitty yellow that Cronacridone Nickel Hazel Gold makes. I love that. That is like one of my all-time favorite colors. All right, I'm gonna try the straw again, even though I already know how I feel about it. I always feel like the cells are teeny, teeny, tiny. I don't know what the difference is between my mouth and a straw, but I get like, those are little itty bitty things. And those just got swallowed up. I made a bunch and then the pink came and just said, I'm just gonna eat you for lunch. So, yeah, not a straw fan. All right, make sure I'm secure. Ready? I hope I save some of this, at least on the edges. I really, oh, I 
think I like the uh, the Ace of Gold first, even better than the um, than the Autumn Leaf. I think the Autumn Leaf kind of gets subsumed. Um, it makes it helps make for um, like a slightly darker piece, but it definitely doesn't do that, right? A spot here on the uh, that's white. Hold on. One more baby spin. I'm gonna leave it. That was a baby spin, but just enough to get a little more paint to fall over the edges. I have a missed corner right here. I need a touch of yellow. match Ta -da! I hope you guys like both of these they're quite happy that was fun it's it feels uh it feels a little weird to be talking so loud in the middle of the night but um since I hardly ever get to stay up late anymore I'm taking full advantage that's uh fantastic let me go clean up and uh, get you guys down for a close-up Okay, here's the first one. This one, I thought this one was pretty great. I like all that stuff. This one, I thought this one was like, whoa. That one turned out as well as the one I uh, filmed off camera. Right? Just when I thought that one was great, there's this guy. <laughs> who I just think is spectacular. I love the pops of color uh, everywhere. Conacrida, nickel, azo, gold. Look how versatile it is. Orange to yellow to real pale yellow. It's just amazing shade. I even like the blank areas um, in this one. And, oh, I caught one more to show you. Hold on one sec. Yeah, I forgot I had done this little one. I did this one uh, first, actually, off camera. I don't know why I did it off camera. And then at the time, I really liked this big cell, like plain, and now I don't. So I know once this dries, I'm gonna get out my um, my aquamarine from uh, Utrecht and paint that blue. <laughs> I know I am. I'm really happy with the rest of it, though. It's adorable. So that's just a little five inch wood round. The first guy, oops, come up high. And that second guy. Let me know which one is your preference in the comments. And uh, yeah, let me flip around. Yeah, that was, uh, that was easy peasy tonight. I don't know, pouring gods are smelling down on me. In the middle of the night, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe. I will be filming nonstop uh, starting now through Sunday. So I expect to get out, or at least not get out right away, but have four or five videos that I could dole out over the next uh, 10 days to two weeks. So um, I hope you guys enjoy that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Take care, y'all. Bye-bye.